wait to bring on the next guest. Are you ready? Let's keep going. Here we go. Come on. Give me something. Please. Get up for Mike Willimon, everybody. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but we actually do Pilates together. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. A little bit about myself. My name is Tom. Hi. I am uh, from the country. The uh, Lord didn't bless me with a very good brain. He did, however, find time to bless me with a tic tac penis and a watermelon sized nut. <laughs> That being said, I uh, don't really get the best looking gals in town. I was actually on a Greyhound bus a couple weeks ago, and this girl got on, and she was uh, fucking crazy. First thing she says when she gets on the bus is, does anybody have any drugs or alcohol? <laughs> Everyone got kind of standoffish. And then she spotted old six-pack Tommy at the back of the bus. <laughs> and I was not judging. So she beelines it over for me, sits down and says, my dad gave me 500 bucks to give of his life forever. So I'm going to Toronto to party it all away. And I'm like, great, a girl who may or may not be homeless in two weeks with daddy issues. Pretty safe to say I'm gonna get laid. <laughs> so I started feeding her the beers and we started like making out and stuff. She's rubbing her fingers through my hair and I could tell something wasn't right. So I did like a shake off and I looked and she had half of a hand. So the only thing that really came to mind was, holy fuck! <laughs> Which isn't the most compassionate thing you can say <laughs> to a woman with a claw. <laughs> if she would have told me beforehand, I probably would have been cool with it. I'm not that picky when it comes to making out with drunk girls on Greyhound buses. Long story short, I've been seeing her ever since. It's a lot easier to get pickles out of jars now. She gets right in there. She gives me a lot of lip, too, about the size of my nut. And she's like, Jesus, buffalo nut, does that thing keep you off balance? That must be awkward for you. Like, I don't know, Charlene, why don't you give me a high five? <laughs> that was only three. You have a hand like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Is that awkward for you? We're both ugly in this form. Let's just get this sex over with. <laughs> My half-handed princess. You gotta love those girls from Gravenhurst. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I think when God made this green slash blue earth, that he gave each race either a weakness or a disability. For example, the Irish weakness would obviously be booze, mashed potatoes, and never coming to your son's hockey games ever. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> then you got the blacks, who were disabled by never being able to make love to a midget without breaking their ribs with their huge wieners. <laughs> which is in no way a disability. <laughs> I think in many ways we're all pretending to hate each other. Like if Jewish people hate Nazis so much, why they manipulate their penises look like Nazi war helmets. <laughs> Did you get it? I'm just kidding though, man. I love everybody. I actually wish I was Jewish. I had a foreskin on me that could cover an apple pie. <laughs> My first day at work, this guy walks up to me and says, so I hear you're a comedian. You're gonna get a lot of material here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, just watch you eat flakes of ham sandwiches and talk about bang your fat wife. Sounds like a fucking hoot. <laughs> Sad thing about that is I work with my dad. This next thing is kind of hard for me to talk about, but uh, I've been getting kind of chubby lately. I've been going through a bit of a chubby spell. <laughs> I don't know why they call that a spell. It's not like some witch walked up and went, Alkazam, man boobs, Alkazoo, you can't see your penis. <laughs> nope, never happened. Pretty sure I just like Twinkies. And it sucks too, because I go clothes shopping the other week with my mom. And we walk into the store, and I'm already sweating from the walk in. And I see this hot little retailer coming from the back, and I'm like, for fuck's sakes, for all the days for me, be looking like John Goodman. <laughs> she set me up with a shirt and a pair of pants. My first battle is with the shirt. I put that on, I look like a beluga whale that somehow made his way into an ankle sock. Second ballast with the pants. I just could not get that button in the loop. My mom could hear me struggling from the outside, so she decides to scream in, Need a bigger size, sweetie? Want me to get you the 42s? <laughs> yes, mom. I need more room for my anaconda sized wiener. Then I had a fudgio and I started crying. <laughs> As I'm walking out, I hear the hot little retailer say, well, I suggest him a plus size store, but I don't think they have a Mr. Big and Short. <laughs> well, Mindy, I suggest for you to suck my balls, <laughs> but they're inside my stomach right now. <laughs> Thanks for the tight jeans, you bitch. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I had a wicked time. Tom O'Donnell! Are you okay with him, kid? You okay? All right.